Hello everybody, I'm Bigger Tick, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Skyrim! At the end of the last episode, the one hour episode, the crazy long episode where I just felt like sitting down and recording for, you know, an hour, which is what I ended up doing, uh, I kind of got stuck here. Because I was, I was looking at these going, oh look, we've got, hang on, hang on, go back to the start, back to the start, right. We've got like a, an owl, uh, sorry, a moth up there, then we've got like a, a, I thought it was a tiger, but then I thought it was a bear, and then you've got the owl, and then you've got, you know, this thing here, which is perfect, you've got moth, bear, owl, perfect, you activate the keyhole, and, uh, uh it, it doesn't work. And I went, oh, well, that's a bit weird. Luckily, someone in the comments who is much, much smarter than me, uh, reminded me that it, it, it's on the claw itself. And in fact, if you, uh, if you, if you have a look at this, you can see it says, uh, what's that? Bear, moth, owl. Bear, moth, owl. Okay? So, let's go ahead and we'll just pretend like that never happened. Oh, yeah. Bear, moth, owl. Lovely. There we go. And that will unlock the door. I, uh, I think I had issues with that the first time I played this game as well. I did the same thing. I was like, oh my god, it's totally these things on the wall. I'm a genius. Look at me uncovering the secrets of Skyrim. More ha ha. Uh, and then realizing that I actually am um, a complete and utter idiot. Um, but that's okay. We, we got there in the end. So that's really all that matters. Um, okay. Some bats. Almost made me jump. Not quite though, so we're okay. Uh, I feel like if I open this up, something's gonna. Okay, there's nothing in there. That's fine. Hmm. I'm a little past this point. I'm sort of this entire time. I've sort of been aware of roughly what's going on. You know, I kind of remember it. But if I'm perfectly honest, I don't remember what comes next. Genuinely can't remember. I think. It, oh wait, is this the point where I um, I find out that I'm I'm a dragonborn, like I, I get one of the powers or something. I think, I feel like that's here. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not gonna go up there straight away. I'm gonna see if there's anything around here to loot, um, because there there normally is. You know, Elder Scrolls game, role playing game in general. That's what I thought. Hey, right. Um. Oh, almost. Should just be... There we go. Right. I've always been pretty good at unlocking these things. And they never really proved to be too difficult for me, so... That's always nice to, uh... Oh. No way, no way through there. Right. And we'll try not to get stuck again. I don't want to have to do... I don't want to have to get stuck in the terrain again. I've already done that once. Uh, so we'll, we'll try and avoid that in the future. But right. Here we go. Boom, we get a, what is it, a power word? Word of power, that's the one. Force, unrelenting force, which is awesome. Right, completed, find the secret of Bleak Falls, oh my god. Draugr, Overlord, why do I feel like this is, this is, this is going to go badly. Come on. There we go, come on. Any, you gonna shoot some more maybe? Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. Oh. What? Oh, ow. Come on, buddy. Stop it. There we go. Right. He didn't hit me once. He just sort of kept pushing me back. Which, um... I'm going to take that battle axe simply because, you know, it's freaking awesome. We're going to take the, the dragon stone, uh, some extra arrows, a little bit of gold. Uh, and then we're going to come up here and we're going to we're gonna loot. Because that is what we do. Frenzy potion... Uh, there is a petty soul gem. Hang on. Oh, that's another f uh, potion there. Right. And let's search the chest. Amethyst, gold, petty soul gem. Don't need the battle axe. Uh, and I, well, I'll take them. I'll be able to sell them. That's that's nice. That's handy. Selling stuff is always, is always handy. Uh, and I believe I can get out through up here. Instead of having to go all the way back through, I can just pop on up here and we'll pop right out with any luck if we activate the handle the uh the giant stone will move and then 
Through we go. Lovely. Right. So, now we have to head all the way back, don't we? Um, that's fine. Let's just, before we jump down, let's quick, take a quick second to explore up here. Make sure there's nothing to loot. Because obviously once you drop down, uh, you... Oops. Don't know why I did that. Um, once you've dropped down, you, you can't get back up. That's, uh, it's not possible. So, quick note, if you're ever sort of playing any game like Skyrim or anything like that, if there's a point of no return where you physically can't go back, just take a quick second, because game designers aren't known for being for being nice. You know, they, uh, they, they'll probably trick you a bit. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and loot the shrine. Don't need the skull. Um, but the flowers were pretty, so I thought I thought I'd take them. So let's pop on out, head back to uh, where's he? What's it? White Hall, I think, is the is the place that I'm heading to, um, and we should be good. Right. The other thing that I want to do is I want to go to Magic, and I want to go to Shouts, um, and oh, use Dragon Souls to unlock. Right. I I know it, but I can't um, use it yet because I don't have a, a dragon. So I haven't killed a dragon yet. Um, I wish there was a way to equip these to somewhere other than your hand, because my bow takes up both hands, but it would be very nice to have, like, a bow and a spell. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, there's no way to do that. If there is, uh, let me know in the comments, and I will be mu oh, I'd really, really appreciate it, because that's definitely something that I wish I could do. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of going the wrong way here, aren't I? Uh, let's just take a quick look at the map. Um, right, so I'm over here, and I need to get back round to White Run. But what I'll do is I will, no, I'll place a marker at Riverwood, uh, and we'll go down, we'll go walk around, we'll go to there, and then we'll head on back up to White Run. Uh, that sounds like a plan. So, head down the mountain. Uh, and then over to the left. So, we go this way. And I am going to keep an eye out for, you know, monsters. Because wandering around Skyrim, at, especially at night time, is not exactly the safest thing to do. To put, to put it lightly, it's not the safest thing. Uh, and in fact, there was a suggestion in the comments that I should install... What was it? Uh, Frostfall, I believe is the name of the mod. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I've heard of it. Uh, I've never played with any any mods in Skyrim. I did play... I've, I've got thousands of hours in Oblivion, and I think I played nearly every single mod in existence for that bloody game. Uh, but none for Skyrim, so... I, I don't know exactly what it does, but I've heard of it a little bit. And I have also... Um, I can guess from the name and, and the description of, of what... You know, uh, it was said that it did, and basically, I think what it does is it makes you also have to... I think it makes it cold, I think is the main thing, right? Like, you have to worry about cold and maybe th thirst as well, like getting thirsty and stuff. I'm not, in, I'm not entirely sure, don't quote me on that. Um, but I know that it is a mod that makes adventuring a lot harder, like you actually have the chance of, of potentially dying... Uh, whereas at the moment, walking around Skyrim, there's no real chance of dying. Because as long as you keep your eye out, and you you see the monsters before they come to you, uh, and things like that, then really, you should be fine. Uh, this is a mage stone, so I probably don't really need it. Um, that's a warrior stone, and this is a thief stone. What is... Uh, stealth skills 20% faster. No. The warrior will... Uh, combat skills, that is... Yeah. I'll take that, thank you very much. Warrior Stone added. Beam of Light into the Sky. Because it it's all combat skills. Um, including archery. So yeah, basically the... Uh, what's gonna call it? The Frostfall mod just makes life a lot more difficult. Because at the moment, as so long as you see things before they see you, uh, or, or you have, you know, you're, you're clever enough to run away when required, then you shouldn't face too many difficulties in Skyrim. Um, so I think Frostfall just does that. So we might see, maybe I'll, once I c maybe either complete the entire main quest line or I'm far enough through that I, uh, I feel comfortable with it, um, maybe then I will, uh, oh, come on, there I am. 
There we go. Uh, maybe then I'll install Frostfall once I feel a bit more comfortable and a bit more confident as well, because at the moment, you know, especially still being a, um, a level, what am I, level 2? Uh, am I level 2? No, I'm a level 3, almost level 4. But still, being a level 3, I don't feel the most confident out, the, out in the world. Like, these wolves still scare me. So, yeah, maybe, maybe not super keen on the whole dying uh, every 5 minutes. Particularly because I am thinking of playing this semi-permadeath. Not like 100% completely permadeath, but at least a little bit permadeathy, you know? Um, I don't know, I don't quite know what that means. I don't know exactly how I'm going to be playing it, but... We might, I don't know, we might, if if I die, we'll, we'll, we'll make a decision when I die. But I will be trying my utmost not to die, okay? We might continue if I do die. But, I will be doing everything I possibly can to not die. Um, I won't be sort of rushing in crazily and, and just, you know, going you know about things willy-nilly and, and not thinking about the consequences. There will be consequences, and I, uh, and I will take them into consideration. So, yes, that is, that is the sort of gist of how I want to play this Skyrim run. Um... Uh, it's probably faster to do it this way. I was just trying to work out what's going to be the fastest, easiest way to cross the river. And to be honest, it's just going to be jumping. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I... Oh my god, go away. Nope, he's almost gone. I mean, I told him to go away, but I actually want to kill him. Hey, lovely. Can I... Oh, there's another one, isn't there? That didn't actually die, did it? He doesn't seem to be attacking me, he seems not bothered, so I'm just going to continue on my merry way. Not entirely sure where he went. That's fine, let's just, let's just keep going. Um, but last time I did this, I went I, essentially the wrong way uh, to head to... Well, was it Whitefall? Is it called Whitefall? White Run. Uh, I went up left and I actually entered Bleak Falls Barrow. Uh, I got there first, I went up and down. So this way... We'll go straight ahead, which is not the direction I have been yet. So this is brand new territory for me. I've I've yet to explore this area. So it'll be interesting to see what it holds. There we go. There is White Run in front of us. We should reach there by the end of the episode. In fact, I will make sure we reach there by the end of the episode by simply saying, I'll end the episode when we get there. I feel like that is the, e <laughs> that is the easiest way to do things. Like, oh... Where, where do you want to end? Do you want to try and get somewhere by the end of the episode? Then just make the episode run till I get there. Like, it's very simple. Oh, they're right there. Oh, it was an elk. Oh, my bad. I, uh, I thought that that was a wolf. I kind of panicked for a second. Right. Um. You. Oh, come on. No, I'm wasting my good arrows here. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Oh, that's shocking. That is absolutely shocking archery by me. Ah, oh, what a waste of my good arrows too. I probably should have switched to some other ones. Don't even think I'll be able to collect these. No, not going to be able to. Um, What? How did I miss from here? Come on. Oh, he's frozen. He's stuck. There we go. Finally, ah! <sighs> Once you waste that many arrows, you kind of feel like you need to, you need to kind of commit at that point, you know. Uh, so hey, at least we got some arrows out of it. Um, let's let's keep making a beeline. Um, I tend to do this. I tend to beeline and not follow the roads as I probably should, but you know that's fine. Um, you just have to you have to you have to be clever about how you do things, you know, because otherwise you'll just end up falling off a cliff. Which is never, never fun. If, uh, if, if I can give you one piece of advice, and that would be to not fall off of a cliff. In, in general, in life, ever. Just, just don't fall off cliffs, alright? Just, uh, try and follow the road. And if you're not going to follow the road, and you're going to, you know, move your way down cliff sides, do it carefully. Try not to fall, and, uh, and try not to die. 
That is that is life advice with Beaker Tech, which is a, a new series starting next week. Life advice with Beaker Tech, um, and basically it will be full of things, you know, wonderful pearls of wisdom like that, where uh, I teach you how to survive in this horrible, horrible world that we live in. God, wouldn't that be that? That would actually be kind of <laughs> that would act. I was, you know, obviously making a joke. Um, that was funny. Ha ha ha. But it would actually be kind of cool. Life advice with Bigger Dick would actually be, well, if not something I would I would make, at least something I would what? Oh, can I get it? Oh, come on. This is totally designed for people with who have worked on their agility levels to be able to get in. Come on. There we go. Right. Lovely. Uh, where? I can never find the front gate of this bloody city. Like, seriously, this is... In all the times that I've played Skyrim, I've never been able to easily find find the front gate. It's always been a pain in the ass for me. But anyway, we finally made it. Whew. Right, what is the easy way to get here? I need I need to like draw myself a map because you come here a lot and I can never easily find my way. And particularly now that I can't fast travel for it, you know, I actually have to walk there and find it. It's going to become difficult. So maybe I should um I should draw myself a little map. But anyway, we have reached White Run, so I'm going to end the episode there. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.